Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. Okay, we're doing again today what we did yesterday. We're going back to the demonic library because this time, I now that I know the boss situation, I think I've come up with a uh, a combination that can win. Uh, I thought about it, meditated on the situation, considered all my options, and I think I came up with an overpowered item combo of doom. That well, it doesn't guarantee a win. Certainly, it doesn't even guarantee I get past the first floor because it doesn't help very much with the first floor. Uh, it does certainly make the likelihood of victory much much higher. So this time we're taking the sorcerer with us instead of our wizard friend. Um, that's because of all the death protections we encountered there. We're also going to take him as an elf again, but we're doing some different things here. We are. We're taking this, we're taking the reflex potion, we are not taking the health potion, we are taking the quicksilver potion. Uh, that is pretty good combination right there, just in general. Uh, we're not going to take magnet fire. We are going to take the extra mana boosters. That makes early game a bit more dangerous, but uh, I need all the mana I can get, basically. Orb of Zot, we're taking that. Uh, if you don't know, it gives 5 health and 3 mana, and it reduces maximum health by 50%. And I, I'm going to use that in an interesting way, I think, that I, I have not done before. I'm going to take Mysteria again, because she's incredibly helpful in every way, shape, and form. Maybe I should take that Magnet Fireball. Uh, everything for the final boss, I can't do it. I can't justify taking that Magnet Fireball. Um... We're going to take the compression seal and an additional shop. We're not going to take super items this time because I've got the super items. Eh, actually, we are going to take super items. Scratch that. I need kegs of health and all that nonsense. Let's take the translocation seal as well. Uh, I'm No heroics here. Black market also seems extremely like a good idea. And what else can help us out? A slayer wand might actually be useful here. Uh, you know, gets a few experience points for free, gets rid of a, an enemy for free of the same level as me. Um, but I'm going to take Pierce's 35% physical resistance. Being slow would be bad. I'm going to take this Perseverance badge. The, just a little bit of extra damage might make the difference on this run. All right, so this is hugely expensive, a 248 gold run. Um, I still think that I can win. I really do. It's going to depend a lot on whether or not I find this fireball early. I really hope I, I find this fireball early. But uh, uh, because if I do, I've, I've got three fireballs immediately. That's why I was so tempted to just take it. But I, I feel like I need those two extra mana boosters for that last fight. Because, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, listen to me. Here's the fireball. And a wait what this time as well. Uh, another key pickup will be biceps, actually. Uh, that's something I'm not going to be converting. Alright, pick up wait what. So I've got the swap places ability. I'll start using it immediately, actually. So let's, uh, yes. Let's switch places with him. And there's Mysteria, which, uh,. Since we're going to be weight wadding quite a bit, we're going to be burn derazing quite a bit. Uh, in fact, right now we're going to fireball this guy just for the extra happiness from Mysteria. We are uh, uh, twice maybe, actually. Uh, we, we're going to be worshipping her right away. Just immediately. Just like before. Uh, I need her for the mana boost. So worship. And also I need her for mystic balance as well. I didn't use that as a wizard, but uh, as a sorcerer, it's incredibly valuable. Uh, magic will also be useful, and uh, I can pretty safely go ahead and take that. There's not many magic users in this dungeon, surprisingly enough. Okay, so I'm already up to 19 magic, which is great. I've got three fireballs at my disposal, which is excellent. I've got wait what, which I should be using. Uh, all things are good in the world with me right now. I might want to start using this one of fight uh, and just convert it as soon as I see something better. That it might be a good plan, to be honest. 
the reason I say this is it's cheaper than wait what is the only thing so yeah I'll just use this wanna fight until it becomes cumbersome and then I'll get rid of it so there's a good location right here is fine actually because I'm not gonna be retreating I'm hopefully gonna win um, oops I kind of blocked myself off there but I've got plenty of exploration this way and uh, if I remember correctly I can just traverse around there so I feel a little silly for what I've done but uh, it is not too bad let's explore uh, ooh, a passage down right immediately and more of that right immediately how much does mystic balance cost because that's the thing I, I really should go for worship mystic balance costs 60 so I'm gonna be saving up for that leave um, and kind of casting wait what at every opportunity as well uh, like right now I can cast my wanna fights every time I do this I get a couple it's very excellent okay this is gonna be some exploration I may as well use it now uh, just to find out what's in here it might be something hugely valuable or something scary I didn't take that gold last time because I was scared uh, who are you? Oh, I know this this place. This guy is going to ask for a mana potion in return for two health potions. That might actually end up being a good idea later. But certainly not right now. Uh, at all. So we're going to just leave because I know what he's going to say. And uh, where do we want to head? We want to head nowhere. I want to cast this a couple times. Summon up some dudes free dudes and uh, then I'm gonna go down around this way Ooh, a shop that could be incredible wicked guitar uh, will raise the level of every visible enemy works only once per creature so I would have a whole bunch of level twos right here uh, that would be convenient right at this very moment wouldn't it but that's all it would be is convenient it's not the best plan to use it right now I don't think um, I should not cast it here. Where should I cast my uh, my spell? Uh, I guess I gotta move one. So before I do that, I'm gonna fireball this guy just to uh, keep the me from wasting too many tiles here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna be casting summons a few times for the happiness. If every level one was in fact a slowed level two, uh, it's just one. It's just like ten extra experience points. Mmm, that's pretty valuable, but not right now. I might do it, but not at this very moment. All right, you. Oh, you're that super annoying enemy that I'm not actually going to deal with. Okay. Uh. Yeah, just continue exploring. A uh, shop, that's very good. Pendant of health, that could be incredibly valuable. In fact, it might boost me up to where I could fight maybe this guy. Uh, 25, he does 16. How many fireballs can he take? Uh, fireball, a lot, actually. And he has mono burn as well. I can't really kill him, can I? Um, Alright, I'm going to go here. And what was in this? Pendant of health. I just need to remember that. Cast one fight a couple times. Uh, just one time it right there actually because I'll just go here and I can cast one effect not there that would be a mistake not there that would be a mistake as well this would not be a mistake so I can cast it right here okay and that's uh that's all of my level ones I I've got to think about that wicked guitar now if I could turn every level one into a level two and these are easy level twos um that might be incredibly valuable. I mean, it's just a huge pile of very effective popcorn. But it costs money. On the other hand, money's not going to be that important. You get huge amounts of money on this run. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. So, let's see. How, how is this going to play out? I'm going to convert one a fight. That is obvious. <laughs> gives me a little bit of extra mana as well which is important to my overall strategy I'm gonna buy this wicked guitar and uh, I could use it immediately actually um, everything is now one level higher alright and I can kill these level twos pretty easily he's wicked sick but he's, he's gonna die so 
Uh, I'm going to kill this one just because he's kind of blocking my path. And he's annoying and I don't like his face. First I'm going to get to full health though. That seems... Or full mana though. That seems appropriate. Dracul is here. I don't know how I feel about that. That might be amazing. Or it might be terrible. 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 Uh, yeah. I'm going to be able to do this pretty easily. So I'm just going to hit this guy once. Throw out a couple fireballs. Yep. And one more. And I can just straight murder him like this. But I don't have to. I can begin my assault on this guy, actually. Uh, which is what I will do. And he'll just die, won't he? Yeah, because he's just got the one hit point left. So why waste time when I can just hit this guy? Fireball this guy once, at least. Which will fully heal me, by the way. And I can hit him with a, a regular attack now. Safely enough, getting rid of his death protection. Very nice. Alright, let's go look at Dracul. Yeah, hi, Dracul. Don't you wish that you were someone else? I really am glad you're here. Uh, I'm thinking you might be super duper for me. Uh, I'm not certain about it, but after I max out with Mysterio over here, you might be the, uh, the way the truth for me. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, get my fireballs going. What am I talking about? I'm going to get my attacks going. I always attack first. Uh, and now get my fireballs going, which will heal me up. I love that sorcerer combination. And now I can just win this fight. Perfect. And all these other level 2s are just nice popcorn, really. Um, this level 4 is not a real enemy I want to fight. What do I want to do now? Okay, well, I could make them all level 3s. Only works once per creature. Never mind, I can't make them all level 3s. Uh, still, it was a nice idea. Oh, okay. I, I haven't really revealed anything new. So, this dude, can't really fight him. Uh, this dude I can fight, and maybe I should just get rid of him. Uh, he's cowardly, revised. I don't care about him. What's in this shop up here? I'm going to waste a little bit of exploration. Amulet of Yendor. Oh my goodness. I love you, Amulet. I love you a lot. I'm, I'm going to save you for later. I'm not going to use you right now. Uh, I need to find level 3 enemies. Perhaps level 4 enemies I can actually fight. If I had one more health, I could fight that guy. Um, which makes this tempting. Makes this right here very tempting. A pendant of health. Uh, what would I replace? I would replace my wicked guitar with it. That's what I would do. Um, or my perseverance badge actually would also replace it. Uh, I could just get rid of my perseverance badge. Which might be the best of plans. For 10 extra health this early. You know, I feel like this had a good effect and it can go away now. Um, my Perseverance Badge is something that can be useful against the final boss. I'm just going to leave it there. Let's grab this Pendant of Health for now. Give me up to 35 health. And I already checked out this shop. This is the Amulet of Yendor. I need to remember that that's there. I'll be getting that later for sure. Not right now, though. Here's my first boss. The Avatar will return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate you, too. This is the one I really hate. This is Mr. Magic Resist. Don't worry. I know I can kill you now. Alright. So, full health, full mana. I can start working on this dude. He has mana burn. I forgot about that. Oh. Okay. Maybe it was a bad plan to buy that pendant of health. Uh, you blink, don't you? There's no good enemies in this game. <laughs> Seriously. Alright. These, uh, these dudes are annoying me right now. Let's grab this health potion. It's fabulous. Uh, I don't actually want to grab that health potion just yet, actually. I'm going to leave that there. But uh, I'll remember it's there. Oh, I'm wasting exploration. What am I doing? I should be fireballing or weight watering or something. So, yeah, I should be weight watering for sure. So let's... Uh, who's going to... Who's not slowed? And needs to be. You're not slowed. You need to be. And you're not slowed. And you're kind of in my way. Also, you're not slowed. 
Uh, hold on, I need to get to a better position before I do that. Um, right here's fine. You're not slowing. You're taking some of my piety. Very nice. Okay, I am cool with everything that just happened. Let's check out this shop. Dwarven gauntlets could be useful. I might take those later. Uh, final boss definitely needs something. You are a possible kill, and you are a definite kill. So uh, let's look into that. I'm gonna leave these health potions kind of lying around. Let's get to full mana. Yes, please. And there's another boss down there, but I'm not too concerned about that. How much damage do you do? 25. Half of 25. Hmm. Let's read this. Every mana point spent regenerates two health. So I'm regenerating 12 health per burner as. That's pretty valuable. There's a glowing guardian here as well. That could be interesting. Um, my choices are between glowing guardian and Dracul. It's probably going go to go to go to Dracul since uh, Mysteria is what's going to carry me here. I think. So I'm going to hit this guy once and see how this plays out. Yeah, retaliate fireball. Is it? Oh no! Rosebud, you hope your killer appreciates the cultural references. Wow. Uh, okay. Apparently, the healing is applied after the damage he does. We're going to just restart that run and try again from the beginning. I, I am convinced that I'm an idiot, but I, I still think I can beat the Demonic Library with this setup. Uh, that was just a dumb mistake. Retaliate Fireball is the main of my existence. Uh, all right. This time we don't have a Fireball right to start with, which is not the best. Can't count on that every time. Um, I do have the Orb of Zot, though. And I'm also surrounded by level 1s and this really annoying level 2 that becomes a level 1 and doesn't give you any real experience points for his for the trouble of killing him. I can't do anything. Ah, I should have taken Magnet Fireball. Uh, there's something down here which might be excellent or it might be exploration that I shouldn't even be using right now. That's fine. Uh, Mystera, are you anywhere? Is this Jahora? Hmm. No, that's Mysteria. What am I talking about? I prepped Mysteria. Of course it's Mysteria. Okay, we've got that, and that's excellent. There's the fireball. Okay, good. Ah, needed it. Was scared. Let's uh, pick up this mana potion, because mana potions are excellent and amazing, and I love them. And let's go ahead and start working on this dude. Uh, he's not an actual problem, but I want him gone because he doesn't provide any experience. Like, seriously, nothing. And a fireball for the win. And I fully heal pretty much anyway, but now we just got an extra level 1 zombie. Which is just kind of an annoying trait. Um, we can go there. I should be casting fireballs at every opportunity. I'll be casting them at this guy, because he's ugly. And I don't like his face. And cowards are cowards wherever you go. Alright. And this is just to make Mysteria love us. We didn't even worship her. We should have. Worship? Yeah, I, I lost out on that a little bit. I, sh I, I lost out a bit of uh, happiness from her. But it's fine. I still have her pretty early. Still getting two piety every time I cast a fireball, which is something I need desperately. A level two. Uh, he's got mana burn. And there's kind of an issue with exploration right now. Lots of level twos with mana burn and kind of an ex issue with exploration right now, like I said. Uh, I, I'm going to go down here and explore. Go. Uh, hopefully something useful. I'm not going to step on that altar because I just want exploration right now and I don't know what it does. So we're going to go. And I'm going to kill this guy. No, he's level one. I'm going to kill this guy. He mana burns and he's poisonous and he's real annoying. How much are my fireballs doing? How much are my attacks doing? I need to know these things. Uh, my attack does 5 and my fireballs are doing 4, right? I can get off 3 fireballs plus 5. Not, I can do 19 damage. How much you got? 23. Nope, not happening. How about you? Uh, I'm doing extra damage to you, but you have retaliate fireball. But I think I survive your retaliate fireball unlike someone else's who I will not mention. Yes, I actually heal from this. 
Um, and no death attached. Uh, which means I can actually do another attack, but I'm going to fireball you before I do that. I'm really not sure how this is working, why that other guy killed me, but you are not. But uh, it's fine, because you have a friend right next to you I can also kill. Um, I'm going to explore down here, just in case this is something real valuable. All hail the mighty lost Lekan, our blood for you. I've done this before. Uh, he mana burned, so I'm going to fireball him. Uh, he still mana burns. It's okay. I can't get out of here either way, and he's going to level me up. Nope, no experience. I do not like this. I'll have one life left. Ah! Ah! Don't know what to do. Alright, I have to kill him. I would prefer not to get mana burned, but it looks like I have no choice. Let's kill him. Uh, you're not working for the greater good. You know what? This is all screwed up right now. Menu. Yep, I hit menu. I'm hitting restart again. You won't usually see me restart this many times in a single run, but, uh... You know, it's costing me huge amounts of money, and... It's fine. Like, I didn't expect that. I don't even know what that does. I don't remember it. I've run into it before, though. Uh, it's like you get piety for killing goats or something. Which I suppose is fantastic. Mysteria's right over there. I should worship her as soon as I've got a, uh... A fireball. Hopefully fireball will be somewhere close by. It has been the last couple of times. Um... Well, let's see, we're gonna go down here. And over here. Maybe I won't get lucky three times in a row, though. That's... Another thing. Okay, we've got a level 2 enemy. He's kind of a pain, but he is level 2. Uh, another level 2 enemy. That's good. But I can't really kill her. Because I have no spells. I need a glyph. Even if it's not fireball, I need a glyph. So we are going around. There <laughs> is that. Shop Kegomana. That can be incredibly useful later. Glowing Guardian's down here, which... Uh, interesting proposition, but I prepped her for a reason. Tower Shield. Probably a great early buy, but once again, I need a glyph. It's what I'm looking for. It's what I need deep down inside. Can I hit you and make you run away? Yes, I can. Uh, but I didn't gain anything for that. There's some extra mana. Not real helpful with no glyphs. Any glyph, really. Uh, fireball is preferred, but, you know, anything. Anything at all. Please? Yep, Avatar is going to return. I get it. Alright, I'm a wall. You took me too seriously with the anything. I'm a wall. Incredibly useful glyph. Not at the moment. Need something I can cast continuously. Ender's wall would be fine. Uh, Jeez. I'm fully exploring and getting nothing here. Alright, you guys are going to just witness a whole bunch of me failing. Seriously. This is going to be a whole bunch of me restarting runs. If I explore this entire area and don't get a single glyph besides I'm a wall. This might be fantastic. Halt me. Heals four hit points whenever you cast it. But it heals me for what? Uh, nine every time I cast it? That could be amazing. Let's try this. Death gaze 50% and weakening blow. No, I'm not going to go after you. This guy, no. Come on. I need better level twos. Now I've got all kinds of complaints. Uh, let's test it out on this guy. So I can hit this guy twice as is. But one cast of halt, man, fully heals me. Oh, wow. I've got a spell of full heal. Um, yeah, now I'm trapped over here. So I'm, I'm looking for a better level two. <laughs> That's sad, but I am. I don't want to kill level 1s to level up. I can easily grab this. I, uh, you know, a fireball glyph would go a long way here, but there's not much I can do about it. Uh, I could kill this level 1 just to get him out of the way. That would probably be a good thing, but I might run across a weight water or something. Even an I'm a wall would, uh, not an I'm a wall, I'm thinking an Indus wall, an, a weight what, a wanna fight, all these things would be great. Fine sword. Uh, an excellent pickup. I'll probably get that. Uh, Pendant of Mana, another excellent pickup that I probably will get at some point. Uh, but I need you, my friend. I need you. 
And I need to kill you. Uh, heals. Yep, I can do this pretty impressively. Uh, safe to hit. And he's dead. I kind of liked what just happened. Uh, yep. Hot, more life. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kill this dude. So that I have the exploration. And level up. Uh, killed two characters, but I would have preferred if I had a fireball right now. Haltman is still great. So, my level threes all seem to be these blinking dudes, which is not the best, but if they do blink somewhere where I can reach them, it's fine. I'm going to eye them a wall before I kill any of them, just in case it doesn't work out perfectly. Let's eye them a wall this dude. He's kind of annoying anyway. Uh, and I'll go up here, just to have as many haltmas available as possible. Okay. Please blink somewhere where I can reach you. It's all I want. Yes. Okay, halt me. And kill. I don't usually use halt me very effectively, but I'm, uh, I'm feeling it right now. So, uh, I still don't have much exploration that I can actually use. Uh, any? Read any? But I'm going to use I'm a wall and try to do that same thing again. I don't think I have the uh, the exploration necessary to do what I'm trying to do here. But I'm going to try it. It heals me up when I do it, which is great. If I hit this guy and he blinks somewhere I can see on the first try, this will work. So hit. No. It didn't happen. All right, let's go over here. And is that exploration? No, it's not. Where is any exploration? I wish I had an, an end wall would be nice. Uh, right there is some. And there is some. Are there any other level threes kind of about? Not really. I don't want to waste on a level one, but it looks like I have no real choice. So if I'm going to kill a level one, it should be, um, hmm, curse bearer probably, just in case I get resistances later. All right, so let's explore a bit. We're looking for something I can kill. Uh, something I can kill. Like this guy might actually, for once, be a useful enemy. So if I go behind him, and... Am I not worshipping Mysteria? Haltman is not doing this thing. Alright, let's uh, let's go behind him. And see if I can straight murder this dude. And Haltman. And hit. And Haltman. And hit. There, and that gives me a level 3 to deal with. And that's good. Um. Yeah, I'm not worshipping Mysteria at all, am I? That's something I need to rectify. I'm, I'm willing to kill this one. Just get over to Mysteria and hit worship. Because I've wasted so much magic here. And I can do this. Now, I, I should have had her worshipped a long time ago. Alright, I'm not going to pick up these health potions just yet. Um, I am going to explore a bit. And there's a staircase down. You, how much damage are you doing? 16. So, yeah, I should be at full health before I try and take him on, though. So, there we go. And that's a mana and health, which is fantastic. Alright. Hit. Heal. Hit. This is basically a full heal. I get, I'm getting double heals every time I do this, so it's pretty fantastic right now. Uh, anything I can hit, I can probably kill. Which is always a good situation to be in. Where's the level 4 that does not have mana burn? Or this guy. This guy. These guys are actually fine right now because they give me level 4s. Um, level 5. If I could take a hit from him. Actually, I might be able to kill this dude. Uh, I'm going to grab this first. As well as this to kind of make sure. That I think I can kill this level 5. So hit. And it's not fireball. That's why I think I can do it. It's going to take two Haltmas to fully heal, to give me another hit. Um, it's not the best, but it's pretty close to enough. Like, seriously, I just need... How much exploration do I need for a Haltmare 2? Uh, five. So, two exploration. Does that give me another hit? Not quite, because he does 35 damage. 
So if I go right here, that gives me another hit. Can I kill him with that? No. It's unfortunate, but no. Uh, I can hit him, though, which I should do. <coughs> Takes me down to two. And I think I will outfight him this way. Because I am healing way faster than I have a right to. Uh, it's seven life. And I think he just had five. This may not be working. How does his... Uh, one magic whenever they hit you. What's in this shop? Crystal ball. How much life does this guy have left? Seven. Mm. Don't think it's working out for me. So I'm just going to explore a bit. Get my uh, health and magic back up. Kind of looking for an enemy I can kill. I can definitely kill this guy. Without issue. Uh, who else can I kill? I would like to kill that level 5, to be honest. And now I've got some damage bonus that might be possible. Kind of unfortunately. That's happening now. What was that again? Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball would make it very possible to kill that guy. As would uh, Fine Sword, which I may as well pick up. Since I don't seem to be finding um, other things. So I'm going to Ima Wall before I kill this guy. That seems appropriate. Uh, because I, I'm kind of doing bad in regards to a lot of stuff. Uh, exploration, specifically. So the avatar will return. I get it. Um, let's get to full mana real quick. Lots of exploration kind of wasted there. but I And I do feel bad about that. Have I not explored down there? Whatever, I will. Uh, now this guy will fully heal. Uh, it will level me up when I kill him, which is good. <laughs> And heals. I need two of them. Another hit. And yeah, I can straight murder this dude, which is good. And win. Probably the most effectively I've used Haltmeth. Okay, I'm level four. Need to take on level five enemies. Level uh, level six enemies, maybe. What are you? You are physical resist, 25%, and a curse bear. I would have to hit you four times. Um, how much am I healing per? 16 plus 4. I'm healing 20 per cast. Uh, no, plus 5. I'm healing 21 per cast. So, it costs a couple of casts. I don't know if it's possible or not. Uh, there might be better options, really. I would love to move that guy. But he's got mana burn. Ugh, these enemies are so annoying and blocking me. Specifically blocking me. Alright, I'm going to hit this guy. No, I'm not. I'm going to go after this guy. Uh, I think I can maybe do this. So I'm going to I'm a wall someone. Specifically him. Yes. And go over here. Uh, go down here. Yay. See my new boss, which I'm nowhere near capable of fighting quite yet. What's, what's in this shop again? Pendant of Mana. Might be incredibly valuable. Uh, I'll have to ditch an item to use it, though. So, will you level me up now? No, you bring me close, though. Is it worth using a potion to take him down? No. That's just a straight no. What's in here? A tower shield. What's in here? A uh, Kego Mana. That will be useful. So, fighting this dude. Hit uh, a couple Haltmas later. Uh, yes, just like that. And I can get another hit off. And the same thing. And it brings him down to 12. Uh, it's about region fighting, isn't it? And I, I don't like that. Let's do this. And I can heal. Brings me to 45. He does 46 damage. Um, is there actually no exploration for me right now? There's a little bit. How much damage do I do? 33. I think I can do this. Safe hit. I'll have one hit point left. I don't like that. Okay. One hit point left. That's not the best. There's anything I can grab that will raise my damage by one. One. Come on. Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball would let me do some stuff. Um. There's nothing I can get that will raise my damage by just one. Conversions won't raise my damage by one. There's no items that'll do it. That's sad. 
I would love Mystera Anor to give me something right now. Uh, one health potion would one mana potion wouldn't even do this for me. Uh, one health potion wouldn't do it for me either. I don't think. I have to kill this guy. No, that won't do it for me either. Jeez, I'm I'm annoyed. Let's go down to the stairs, and if there's something immediately that would save me, I don't know what that is. Hmm. I need saving. That's that's not in doubt right now. I'm gonna hit this guy. Uh, take my curse, and that leaves him at one hit point, which is real unfortunate. If I had fireballs, I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Uh, and I will go down here and explore. Um, what is this item? Amulet of question mark. That scares me. Uh, I'm going to halt me. That brings me up to 49, which is exactly where I need to be to hit him again. Tell me it leaves him at 2. Of course it leaves him at 2. Uh, so I'm, I'm losing ground there. Okay. This is not working. And if something's not working, continuing to do it does not help you. I'm blocked off on a lot of sides here. I'm going to kill her. There's a waste of the ammo wall I used earlier. And check out this shop. Alchemist scroll. Uh, every time you use... No, no, that's not worth it. What's in this shop? Badge of honor. Plus 10% damage. Yes. That would have made that fight a second ago possible. Um, yeah, and I can just buy it, can't I? No, I can't, because I'd have to get rid of I'm a Wall or Halt Meh, one. Probably I'm a Wall is what I'm going to get rid of, and I'm going to grab up that Badge of Honor. Because it's an incredibly useful item that I can use right now, right now. Bye. If I had it a second ago. Alright, we're going to fully heal. There's a Wait What and a Feel Sick. Uh, let's grab up the Feel Sick and just convert it immediately. And... The Wait What is something I should use. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of the weight what immediately. That's just not going to happen. So 25 health, 24. There we go. I now have enough. I can easily kill this dude. I think. So hit. Of course, now it's less valuable because I don't have the halt me. I mean, I don't have the ammo wall. But whatever. Uh, it's not enough, but this will be. And I'll take another level of curse. That brings me to five levels of curse. And one more. And bang, he's at six. I can halt him one more time. And explore a tiny bit. Uh, 45 is how much damage he does, right? 46. So one more, and this should kill him. Yes, win. Dang. That was terrible. That was real terrible. Oh. At least I acknowledge that it was terrible. Alright. So we're going to go up here. Over here. I still feel like this is winnable. It's just going to be hard. It's just going to be very hard. Avatar will return. I get it. So I need to grab up this weight what and actually use it. Uh, is there anything I can get rid of? I could suppose I could give myself a death protection. I'm certainly not going to use the orb of Zot. I, I'll just go ahead and give myself the death protection so I can pick up the wait what. I need to keep the fine sword. Uh, yeah, wait what? Pick it up. And I will switch places with this guy. So that opens up the map 100%, which is fantastic. It also gives me opportunity to do this. Uh, worship. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any reason to do that yet, do I? Because I don't have fireballs anywhere. Is real unfortunate. Okay, I really felt like I could beat this dungeon. <sighs> if I had fireballs, I could kill so many of these dudes. I suppose I can go after this guy right now and probably win. I'm just going to get to full mana first, or at least there it is. After all this time, there it is. Halt me, go away. You're fantastic, but go away. Um, brings me up to 27 mana, which is fantastic. Uh... Put this nice burner as right here. Perfect. Okay, how many fireballs do I get? Like four right now? I can make that into five. 
very, very quickly. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to worship. And I'm going to cast Mystic Balance. So now I get five fireballs per. Who can I not kill? I can hit this guy once. And then fireball him five times. My fireballs are doing how much damage? Uh, 16. Uh, 16. 10 times 5 is 50. 6 times 5 is... So 80 damage. Uh, okay. He would have 97 health left. Pretty close, actually. Pretty close. Not quite there, but pretty close. Uh, it might be better to go after an easier target, though. Like this guy. This guy will just die. Which is a, a nice treat. Uh, fireballs out the wazoo now. Yep. That's what we call a wazoo in these parts. And every fireball will take off a death protection, which is fantastic. Yep, and I'll fully heal afterwards as well. I can also just hit him. Uh, yeah, let's just do that, actually. And one more fireball. Gets rid of his last death protection, I believe. So he no longer has a death protection. How much damage does he do? Uh, 26. So I need to heal up. Uh, is a fireball enough to win? It is. So, level up to 5. Now, I could go after a level 7 now, um, but that's not necessary. Let's use our wait what. Uh, do I want to go after a boss now? I can hit them, so I should probably do it. Which boss? Uh, not the one that's resistant to magic yet. I think this one is fine. That one's fine to go after. This one's fine to go after. Um, but not one that's resistant to magic. I need to get on the verge of leveling up first, so I do need to go after someone. Probably this guy is an easy target. That guy is also an easy target, because they're the same target. Uh, so let's do that. One hit. And yes, layers of curse that I don't really care about. Let's get these fireballs going. Which will heal me up enough to kill him for sure. Everything changed when the fireballs arrived. I was about to say when the Fire Nation attacked, but it didn't really make sense in context, did it? And one last one. Perfect. Uh, would you level me up? You would. That's unfortunate. So, I'm going to grab this Mana Booster. And this right here as well. Uh, I could already get one more Mana if I wanted to. But I don't want to. Uh, not at the moment, anyway. At some point I want to get Flames, probably. Maybe not. I might need my actual damage to do some damage. For the end game. Okay. So I, I do want to grab that Mana Potion pretty badly. I do need full health as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this. Pick it up. And wait what this guy over to here. So I can get this exploration. Ooh, in a shop. Uh, what's in the shop? Uh, an amulet of Yendor. Fantastic. That's such a nice pickup. Uh, go down these stairs. I should probably check this out. Don't know what this amulet does. It terrifies me. Um, if I get an opportunity, I will use it, though. I need pretty much full mana. That is, in fact, the case. Uh, what's the... At first, there was only confusion. Then there were teeth. Lots and lots of teeth. I'm real scared of that now. Um, no, it's not worth getting rid of anything for sure. So we are going to go here and kind of decide what to do. I don't want to level up. That is for certain. Um, I want to get close to it, though. And I guess since a level 7 would level me up, a level 6 would not. Okay, level 6 would be just short of leveling me up. So I can take out this level 6 here. Uh, take on many more layers of curse, of course. Uh, fireballs out the wazoo, as per usual. Yes, please. It's a barely win, which is not what I want. Um, okay, and win, but I'm cursed. That's fine. There we go. And now I need to get my mana back one more time. Earth Mother might be fantastic at this point. Uh, 
All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five of my bosses already showing. All right, that's fine. I'll get as much mana as I can back anyway. And I'm on the verge of leveling up, which is good. Two more mana would be another fireball. So we're trying to get as much as we can here. We don't have any exploration left except for like two squares we can get. That's fine. So I need to decide which one of these guys I want to go after now. Uh, Curse Bearer would not be a problem. I don't want this guy to get a death protection. That's kind of a big. So I might want to go after him first. Uh, I don't want this guy to get a death protection either. This guy's going to be the most pain in the butt one as far as uh, damage done to me. So I might want to do him last when I'm highest level. Um, this guy I might want to do first when it's uh, mainly my attacks that need to do stuff. I don't know. And these two just straight don't matter. Death Gaze 100%, Mana Burn, Curse Bearer, those things don't actually make a difference to me. Uh, this guy's Corrosive, which is a problem. Hmm, it's, it's all a matter of options, really. Uh, who would be the worst to have Death Protection on? Probably this guy. But he's also the hardest for me to kill. I guess I'm going to go after this one. Because I'm going to go after the ones that are the least pain in the butt right now. That's that's my that's my reasoning. Um, what are what are you? Weakening blow. And I don't want to go after anyone that can hurt me like permanently. So this is the one I'll go after. He's got poisonous and magic attack and first strike. Doesn't really matter. I can just hit him once. <coughs> oh, and that got rid of my death protection. No, I didn't realize that that was the reason I could take a hit. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I can get my fireballs off because he doesn't have retaliate fireball. That was a, a huge mistake, actually. It does matter quite a lot. Um, I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to kill this dude. Uh, it won't kill me. Okay, good. Get rid of his death protection, level me up, all that nonsense. Then come back here and start fireballing again. Do I have enough fireballs just available to kill him? Yes, I do. I straight up do. Alright. Yeah, 28 maximum uh, magic is pretty incredible. So I will win that fight and be very close to leveling up. Death protection went to this guy, which is fine. You know, weakening blow and physical resist, man, is, you know, totally, totally within the realm of I don't mind what you do. Alright. Things that I need to do. I, uh, who's next is my is my question here. I can get one fireball off on whoever it is without leveling up. Um, probably not that guy. Probably this guy would be the most logical target. Um, this guy also is fine. But I, I'll probably go after this guy. He's the most logical one. So who can I kill to level me up? Uh, this guy is a win, and this guy is a almost level up, so that's fine. I'll go down here and do the one fireball that I can do, which is fantastic. I can't tank a hit, so I'll just go ahead and level up. That's a win right there, and I'll get the fireballs going. So fireball, 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 fireball from all the fireballs. Okay. And if I could take even one hit from him, this would be a bit easier, but I can't. I wish I hadn't wasted my death protection. Alright, he's got 47 health left. Uh, one mana potion would do this. And considering the small amount of help that one mana potion is on the final fight... As opposed to health potions, I will uh, I will use that mono potion. So yes, fireball, fireball for that win, that delicious win. All right, and we've got another death protection to deal with, but that's kind of okay. It's not super okay. It's a little bit okay. 
still not in a position where I can actually take hits from anyone. Um, wait what is a fantastic thing that I'm going to get getting rid of here. Uh, should I take... No, that's a huge waste of piety if I do that. Uh, who are my gods on this map? I've got Glowing Guardian here. Where's my other one? Shouldn't there be another one? Earth Mother. Worship her. What abilities do you give? Plantation. Uh, that's fine. Clearance. That's actually really good. Green Bloods. Entanglement. Vine Form. Is damage Reduction. Gaining HP is also going to be big. Um, entanglement is good. Corrodes enemies. I think I want to switch to her at some point. Uh, I don't know when exactly that point's going to be. Uh, I've already taken Mystic Balance. Refreshment is fantastic, but I'm probably getting rid of my glyphs too fast for it, really. So I'm going to use this once more, and maybe even one more time, uh, if I think that's viable. But that might not be the best idea. Uh, and then I'm going to probably switch to Earth Mother here. Which may be an amazing, amazing idea. Okay. So what's, what are in my shops? Crystal Ball. That uh, I'm not, I'm not going to use so much. Um, I haven't injured anyone, so this gives me a, a free Fireball before I level up. Hmm. Let's kill this guy since he's slowed. No, he'll mana burn me. Never mind. Uh, can I kill this guy in one hit? Yes. And then this guy is fine to kill. Same with this dude. He damages me a little bit, but since I can't take a hit anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I can take out this one. 28. Uh, this one is a win as well for 31. Um, I killed this one in one hit, I think think, but I'm not certain of that. This puts me at 33. If I could get to where I was one hit killing someone that didn't mana burn me or anything, I'd, I'd like to. Hmm. I'm not really going to clear out this top area. Kind of realizing that. If he didn't mana burn me, he would be the target. I think this is the guy right here. He does a lot of damage, though. Um... I need four, so if I kill this guy first, yeah, he just vanishes, and then I kill this guy, it puts me at one away, which is where I need to be, it's one away. Now I need to decide on who to kill. Uh, this one, weakening blow, death protection, I don't want to actually hit him ever. This one, it doesn't matter if I actually hit him ever, and this one, I don't want to ever actually hit because he's corrosive and corrosion is bad. So let's go with this guy. He's an easier kill. Uh, fireball there is fine. Heals me a little bit, but uh, now I can level up in peace and go to full health. I can get one hit off on someone if I so choose now. Probably this guy is the best guy to do that with. Actually, this guy is certainly the best guy to do that with because he has Retaliate Fireball. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this guy, then come back over here and deal with my real target as I heal a little bit doing it. Yes, all the Fireballs in the world are coming in your face right now. Uh, you do have one layer of death protection, my friend, but that's not going to be enough to save you, I don't think. Uh, my only real option here is to use a Mana Potion. Um, I'm actually, in a way, okay with that. It brings me enough, up enough to kill him straight out, I think. So this gets rid of his death protection, I think. Yes, it does. And this wins the fight for me. Perfect. Very nice. Okay. So that gives you another layer of death protection. Yes, it does. But I can't hit you yet. Okay. What do I need to do? Alchemist Scroll is not something I'm going to be using. Uh, Amulet of Yindor is definitely something I will be using at some point, but not yet. 
That's a, a last moment thing. Crystal ball. Um, with the amount of gold I have, I might want to purchase crystal ball right now. Right now. So let's uh, let's get rid of wait what? It's fantastic, but uh, more mana is better. And I am going to try to buy my way to victory. <laughs> as sad as that is. So yes, I'm going to purchase this crystal ball and use it liberally on a fight against this guy. Um, don't know how well this is going to work out for me. So fireball this Mr. Annoying. This guy is going to take the most fireballs of anyone. Uh, one crystal ball gives me a couple, but I could just use this, which will also give me a couple. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use my remaining mana potions here before I use Crystal Ball. And I'll fireball this guy down as much as I can anyway without taking any corrosion. As soon as I get up in health where I can actually tank a hit, I will. But not from this guy, from someone else who is far more acceptable of these things. Accepting of hitting me or me hitting him or whatever, however that should be phrased. Uh, another fireball. Perfect. And now I'm going to use crystal ball to give me 15 more for only 5 gold, I think. Or 4 gold. That's fantastic. Uh, and more fireballs. Forthcoming. Okay. Yes, please. Alright. 88. 88 life left on this guy. He's, he's pretty resilient kind of a problem. Um, can't straight murder any of these dudes unfortunately. Nope, mana burn. Can I even straight murder this one? I can straight murder that dude so there's no reason why not to. Okay. What next? I'm thinking I've got to get rid of the crystal ball. Uh, before I do so I'll use it one more time and get another fireball off. Yes. That is nice. And go away now, Crystal Ball, because you're no longer useful to me. As sad as that is. Okay, yeah, gone. I'm also going to take this Health Potion and put it up here. Or not. I don't want to accidentally take this Health Potion, so okay, good. That's a mistake I've made before. Alright, very nice. So I've got, uh, I've got some options here. Oh, but I've only got two mana. So... This is the uh, Alchemist Scroll, not what I need to use. Here's the Amulet of Yendor. I'm looking for, Pendant of Mana might be a good idea, but I'm looking for uh, Tower Shield. Uh, was it a previous one? No, it's right here, okay. Pegomana. Use it. Use it and abuse it. There's my Kegomana. And the reason I'm doing this, I can't actually take my uh, Mana Potions downstairs with me, sad as that is. Um, I'm going to be relying on purely health potions and these other potions while I'm downstairs, not mana potions. Which is unfortunate, but it's the reality of our situation. So I'm going to use these mana potions up while I'm up here. A uh, few fireballs is all I need. And if this will heal me up to the point where I can hit that other guy again, I will be so, so happy. Um, and it will do so, I believe. 94, very close, 104, extremely close. And that guy died, which is fantastic. Um, here's a problem. I am one short. <laughs> I, uh, I'm one cast of fireball short of being able to hit this guy again. He also has retaliate fireball. Lots of problems there. So I am going to do this and start fireballing him that is not the best at all it's not the best option um, I need to level up to fight him so how am I gonna do that I've got a level 4 guy a level 5 guy will mana burn me what can I do with fireballs here uh, it injures me quite significantly to hit him with fireballs hmm but I could get two off I need to level. That is clear. So I'm going to do this, which will get me to 38. 
Uh, every time I do this, it gets rid of a couple of his death protections, which is good. Uh, yep. And one more should kill him. But I'm actually going to fireball. Once. And then again. To get my health up. And then I will try to kill this guy that way. And this guy will level me up for sure. So that gets rid of two of his death protections. Uh, I die now if I hit him though. I could go there and hit him without dying. Yes, but it's a problem. Like a serious, serious problem. This is getting crappy. I, I will say this is getting very crappy. What about you? You kill me in one hit. That's an issue. There is no more exploration for me except for right there. I would be able to survive a hit from you after right there. Um, yes. I will take one level of corrosion. As much as that sucks. And now I will kill this guy and level up. And level. Very nice. I'm level 9. And I have a dude to kill. So I can hit him once, or I can try to fireball him down. Either way is going to be a pain. Uh, but we've got to do it. So I end up with 78. I end up with 34. Am I going to have to use a health potion here? I think I am. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, one health potion though. It's certainly better than it could be. So one of my health potions is going to be gone. I still think... Oh, he's got death protections. Ah, this guy with death protections is the worst. This guy might take a lot of hits, actually. Um, let me think here. A uh, Schadenfreude potion would not do this. A Strength potion would not do this. Oh, Continuous Fireball Noises. I'm going to turn that down. Burn Salve. It's not going to help me out here. Another Health potion won't really help me out here. Well, actually, yes, one more health potion would help me out because, no, he's got three layers of death protection. That's a problem. So I can fireball him again, which gets rid of one of his layers. Does that also reduce his damage? It does, significantly. Uh, but I, not enough so that I could... I need one more health potion. All right, fair enough. Pick it up, use it. It's a little unhappy, but it's how it has to be. Not going to have a very many health potions for downstairs. I still think I can win down there. Alright. And Avatar is accessible. Okay, up here we've got to do some things. We need some stuff up here. We need the Amulet of Yendor. That is a no-brainer. So I'm going to use this to grab the Amulet of Yendor. Yes. Alright, got that Amulet. That will help me out significantly down there. Uh, I need... This health potion, for sure. One health potion is fantastic. If it's the best I can do, it's the best I can do. I've got 90 from her. If I had a little tiny bit more, I could convert and do some other stuff. But uh, I think I want some bonuses from Earth Mother here. And that's going to require a bit of doing. Let's worship her and look here. I can Plantation, which gives me tons of piety. Then I can remove plants, which will increase my mana back to full. Uh, I can corrode enemies, but I don't care about that. I can slow enemies, but I don't really care about that. Vine form is what matters here. I can continuously vine form and give myself lots of damage reduction and max HP. That's what I want. Um, so let's grab this remaining piety. Actually, I'll do that after. And let's, let's look at Mysterion over here. Is there anything of value that she can give me besides one more max HP um, before I switch? Flames? Yes. A uh, little bit of extra fireball damage. Uh, it's actually kind of a bad plan. I shouldn't have taken flames because it's less damage overall because my attacks are what's going to be doing a lot down there. That was a mistake for sure. All right, but after flames, I'm going to convert to Earth Mother, worship, uh, and convert. Now I'm going to use plantation and get tons of piety, hopefully, from it. Yes. 
and clearance will use those piety and get back to full mana. Very, very nice. Uh, and yes, I can reach the stairs now, which is good. Um, being at full mana, I might want to kill some things because I cannot use plantation and clearance again. So that might be a bad idea. But what I might want to do is vine form a bunch and gain a whole bunch of this. So let's try that. And it'll actually let me use clearance again. So how much can I do this actually is a good question. Uh, 30. And if I use clearance, we can remove plants. I need to check to make sure I've still got a clear path here. I do. So go back to worship. How much is this costing now? 20. That was my last one then. And I can't use clearance, so let's hope there's a path. There is. Good. Okay, so I, I brought myself up to 146 max HP. That might be incredibly valuable. Um, shop. What do I want from here? Do I want Fortitude? No. Schadenfreude? Uh, no, not really. Health potion's what I really want, so I'm gonna buy it. Okay. All other shops are 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 things like anything that can help me even a little bit. Uh, an alchemist scroll is not that thing. And a tower shield might be that thing. So I'm going to buy this power shield. All right. Uh, if there was a way for me to heal at all before I went downstairs, I would be so happy. Because all I've got is fireballs and hope. Um, I really, really hope I can dodge. That's, that's, that's the thing right now. Uh, I'll, I'll grab this piety for no reason. Suppose I could have healed with Glowing Guardian if I could have been him, but I can't be. Actually, this one health potion will be fine for what I need, for my purposes. Uh, Alchemist Scroll, no, plus 8 at max HP per level per thing, no. Alright, I'm going to go downstairs. And maybe this will be victory. Yeah, I know this is a dungeon that I can't get to. Okay, I hope I have... Gotten all, oh yeah, I forgot there was exploration here. Fantastic. Okay, good. Let's get to a nice full health. Regards the avatar. How much damage do you do, my avataric friend? Quite a lot. You also have high physical resist, high magic resist. You are a big pain in the butt. Um, when activated, the orb is consumed. And every enemy on the current level will have its maximum health reduced by 50%. I'm going to do that. So now his maximum health is half of what it was. It's 477. Now I'm going to use this thing. Which I'm not going to tell you what does, but I think does ridiculous crazy damage to him. And I'm right. So I will take that ridiculous crazy damage and apply it. This is why I thought I could win. Okay. Oh, and I still think I can win. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wail on him at this point and kind of hope it works out. I can hit him until I level up. I've got one level up in me. Uh, so I will be using that. As far as these other guys, I'm really hoping I don't ever have to deal with them. I'm about to do all my fireballs, which is a, uh, a thing. It, it doesn't do, they don't do very much damage, but anything that does any damage to him uh, does he have resist, or am I gaining health? Am I gaining health or losing health by hitting him? I don't really know. Uh, I'm gaining health. Okay, good. I won't quite get above 75, will I? No. That would be awesome if I did. I could, But with the tower shield, I actually do get another hit, which is fantastic. Um, yep, so take that hit. And that is great. Now I'm going to use the Amulet of Yendor to level up. Perfect. Oh, this room, this room, this room, this room. I can hit him again, but why should I when I can use this and this to do a massive amount of damage to him, at least comparatively and safely. And now I'll do another hit for free. And uh, this would kill me. So, hmm, we're coming to the end of happiness, I think. Uh, how would this kill me? 
Why is he doing... Oh, he's doing 112 damage now. That's why. Hmm. All right. Still, I can get above 112 with my fireballs. So I will do that. I don't... There is no reason to waste uh, anything as far as my health potions. Because this is going to be a close fight no matter what I do. All right. So now I can hit him again. Which is fantastic. Because I'm fairly certain that means I'm going to win. Let's use health potions to get to 84, and this will get me to 145. Ugh. Can I kill him in one hit? I don't know. I really don't. 145, I only get one more hit on this guy. <gasps> Win. Yes. Oh my goodness. And it talks to the Watcher. Who is the Watcher? He's a pacifist. That's good. Dot, 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 okay. Um, okay. Avatar Codex, a tome of the dreaded being known as the Avatar. Its power increases fireball damage by four per level and instantly maximizes burning, but allows enemies to strike back. That's that's interesting. I'm going to pick that up. I have beat a vicious dungeon. That just happened. I won. I'm going to do a dance right now. Doing a, I'm doing the victory dance. Holy crap, that was probably a long, long episode. Uh, and yesterday was a long, long episode as well. So, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. But uh, if there was any other way to beat him, I don't know what it is. Maybe with a not magic heavy enemy. If I could get through those first guys without being, you know, super magic heavy already. That would be possible. But uh, I'm really excited with what just happened. Also, that Avatar's Codex seems like an awesome item. Don't know what to replace here. Uh, stone Sigil, maybe? Probably the Alchemist Scroll. Or the Stone Sigil. The Stone Sigil is what I'll get rid of here. Um, yeah, please click and drag. Oh, right. I, I, I drag from here. That's how I do this. Yes, okay. Um, one Piety for enemy kill. Yeah, that, that's great, but I, I'm not going to use it. So that's going to be discarded. But I've got the Avatar's Codex, which is real fantastic. Okay, guys, that was a long episode.